Hey everyone, welcome back to this week's edition of the McCauney Setup Shop AFIX Tutorials. Uh, this week we are looking at the new Atlanta Motor Speedway, which is another super speedway. Uh, so we're going to focus on qualifying again, trying to get you guys the best start that you can for track position. And uh, hopefully that will help lead to results for you in the race. So strap in and let's get to it. <clears throat> uh, just like Daytona you want to stay about a car length at least off the wall unlike Daytona this is a two lap qualifying session um, doing one lap is much slower and doing it in fifth gear surprisingly is faster I thought fourth gear would be better for the higher RPMs but the way that the gear is it's obviously a, a race gear um, but fourth gear is just way too high. It's like 8,700 RPMs. You're just too far out of the power range. Uh, fifth gear is about 5,000. Or 5,000. 8,000. I don't know why I said 5,000. It's about 8,000. Uh, 78 to 8,000. So it's still not quite in that power band range that you want to be in. But it's much better. Okay, and we're going to go over uh, this lap again. Uh afterwards i just want to show you the difference between fifth and fourth gear um, you see what i'm doing to get up to speed how i'm taking the travel we're going to go over all of that and i'll explain why i'm doing that a lot of it has to do with the bumps okay so we'll come we'll come back to this uh the outlap is the exact same the only thing i'm not doing is shifting into fifth gear so this is the same lap if you will um only in fourth gear and you can hear the difference in rpm like you can hear how much louder uh, the car sounds right now the rpms are just too high uh, to do this in fourth gear it is worth noting that in the last session that i was doing this in before i did you know my my video run if you will uh, i hit a 285 now yes the weather is not dynamic like it should be, especially for a super speedway. For consistency, I should have set up a uh, a fixed weather server. But between the both sessions I did, fifth gear was consistently faster no matter what. So I don't really think it matters. This is just more to, to kind of prove to you guys that fourth gear is just slightly slower than fifth gear and that you want to be qualifying in fifth gear. Um Okay, so we're going to go back and we'll we'll break down the lap uh, for here. Now, we'll go all the way back here so you guys can see. Uh, obviously, you're not going to be starting in your box. You'll be about here. So the launch is important, but you want to be on the as close to the racetrack on the apron as possible. There's more banking here. And you can see from in the car, even through the replay here, you can tell the difference in banking where it's really flat down here on the left and there's a little banking here. You can stay wide open right here on this strip closer to the racetrack. There's more than enough banking and you need to be wide open because you need to build as much speed as possible, right? So going through the gears, we're going to grab fourth gear on the back straightaway and we're not going to shift until off of turn four. You don't want to shift too soon because you need to give the motor... Uh, time to build up and you're not going to have enough time going through a corner shifting into fifth gear before the the corner okay so right about here in the dog leg we grab fifth gear it's an optimal shift range and we're still just trying to wind the car up right trying to keep it a lane off and we'll go into the the in car obviously after this because i'm trying to keep the center bar on the windshield on that seam through the corners that's how i know i'm not getting too close to the wall because you don't want that arrow drag to slow you down. You want all the speed you can have. Okay, same thing through three and four, kind of riding the seam. Now, the trioval, I'm just going to slow it down here for you guys. This is just to take the money lap, right? I'm not trying to get all the way down here because I'm not trying to put a, a lot of wheel input in it, okay? If you see my wheel, we're trying to keep it as straight as possible. I'm not trying to scrub any speed by forcing it down here. It's not going to help me. I'm just trying to keep it nice and smooth. Now, through this part, this part of the trial is incredibly bumpy, so I try to aim for this seam and come straight off. Yes, you're going to catch some bumps. Yes, the bumps slow you down a little bit, but it's worth the time gain being down here as opposed to being on the racetrack. It's, it's just worth it. Okay, catch a few bumps on the racetrack, 
and now you're just trying to wrap this line down here as smooth as you can okay you see my wheel just trying to keep it as smooth as possible tracking out off the corner about the middle lane you don't want to let it go too far up because now you're going to set yourself up for a nice entry into three to let the car kind of fall into the corner still wrapping the line now here again unlike the the coming to take the money lap you want to get as close to the grass as possible here and scrub as much time off as possible okay and that is a qualifying lap at least around um, Atlanta I'll go back and do the in-car for you guys so that you guys can get a visual again this bar right here is what I'm trying to reference to keep on the scene so I'll play this with no commentary and I'll let you guys have a visual uh, from the in-car Okay, guys, um, that's going to do it for this week's video. Uh, again, unfortunately, I know it's another super speedway, so there's not really a whole lot to go over. Um, just the hopes of this is that you guys can get yourselves a really good lap and start up front and avoid the chaos. If I remember correctly from last year, there's not a whole lot of passing that goes on, but this is a much newer aero update, so who knows? We might get the three wide like Daytona. You might be able to get into a lane that moves, but last year was pretty much the bottom uh was faster but i think a lot of that had to do with the aero package that we had then um just the way that this car races around here being a super speedway you're obviously going to be really close to everybody uh one bad push can take out a lot of cars so as long as you're in front of that hopefully you can avoid the chaos and get yourself some good finishes um, if you guys have any questions, as always, please leave a comment down below and I'll get back to them. If you find that this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like. And lastly, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you can see these videos every Monday when they're posted to the McConey YouTube page. Alright guys, best of luck this week and we'll see you on the track.